Hello, and welcome to the first ever Bears broadcast. I'm your host, Vaughn Wiltz, alongside Cicely Silsbury. Thanks, Vaughn. Most of you students are thinking, what is Bears broadcast? Well, we are here to help you better understand. Throughout St. Mary's, students and staff are striving to bring in new and exciting things to St. Mary's halls and games. Bears broadcast is just that, new and exciting. Here to bring you updates on sports, school, and things around this area, and even around the world. Wow, that sounds exciting. Let's take a further look into what Bears Broadcast is all about. Bears Broadcast is a newscast put together by all of the St. Mary's Media Tech students. We're going to keep you up to date on news and sports around the school. It's a monthly news broadcast that will keep you informed and involved. Now remember, you've seen the rest, now watch the best. Thanks, Hannah and Brady. Another new thing we are having this year at St. Mary's, thanks to our Suco, is Fan of the Game. Let's go to the halls and get a little more insight on this. There's been buzz all around the school as to what this Fan of the Week business is. We've heard talk of couches, pizza, and crazy outfits. Let's get straight to the source. We are lucky enough to get enough time to speak with the always lovely Shannon Moylan and our very own John Stewart, the president and vice president of SMHS Stuco. The fan of the game is the person or group of people who has the most school spirit at each of the home football games. Where? They will have the privilege. Nay, the right to sit on the couch of awesomeness on the track of death, where they will gloriously have the victory pizza delivered to the mouth. Delivered by Gambino's Pizza, 175-437-2900, 175-437-2900. The pizza is $18.99 per large, 175-437-2900. It is now time for my favorite segment, Wacky Wonderful News. 43,000 children under 14 are already married in Brazil. Huh. High school all-star and top prospect loses leg in fatal accident. At least 75 bodies have been recovered after an explosion of a gasoline pipeline running through a slum in Kenya's capital. Here's my favorite story. A drunk moose gets stuck in a tree in Sweden. I hope that moose is okay. And here's some sad news. The Kansas City Chiefs have been embarrassed in two games this season. Once to the Buffalo Bills 41-7 and to the Detroit Lions 48-3. Good news is, suck for luck. And Hurricane Irene bears down on the East Coast. The Carter Four is a top-selling album last month, the month of August, is a good listen. You should listen to it. And a whale kills a SeaWorld trainer. I hope the whale doesn't go to jail. And a Florida man catches a 12-foot, 800-pound alligator. Tastes like chicken, what I've been told. The 10-year anniversary of 9-11 was this year. And an Argentina train slammed into a bus and then struck by another train that killed at least 11 people and injured 212. Now on to Teacher Spotlight featuring Mr. Jackson. What do you like about being a teacher at St. Mary's High School? Um, I like the fact that it's a small school and uh, it's, I think it's easier to get to know um, the students and the teachers because there are uh, fewer of them than what you'd have in a lot of other schools. The reason I wanted to become a teacher is because I always liked school um, when I was a student and I've always liked reading and writing and um, things that are related to English so it made perfect sense for me to be a teacher. Thanks Mr. Jackson for that very insightful and delightful interview. Now on to sports with Tristan Hurla. Hi, I'm Tristan Hurla and I'll be doing sports. The Bears started off their season with a loss to Rossville. The score was 26-6. John Stewart had the only touchdown for the night. The following Friday, the Bears played Silver Lake. Silver Lake was winning 3-0 in the second quarter when terrifying lightning was around the area. Ah! Then the game was canceled and postponed to the next day. The game was resumed the next day and the Bears lost 31-0. Last Friday, the Bears played Riley County. Riley County won 34-20, but the Bears had a hard-fought game. Come support us tonight at the Rock Creek game. Now to change gears, we're going to volleyball. The St. Mary's volleyball team started off their season with a triangular at St. Mary's. 
They beat Baser Linwood and lost to Ottawa. On September 6th, they beat Olpe. On Saturday, September 10th, the volleyball team took second at the Rock Creek Tournament. At the Triangular in Wobuncie on September 15th, the girls beat Marysville and lost to Wobuncie. This Tuesday, the girls played Rock Creek. They lost two sets, but won one set. The girls golf team has competed in four tournaments so far. At West Franklin, Katie Bertles took pay. At Osage City, Katie Bertles took 18th. At Silver Lake, Katie Bertles took third. And Allison Blakely took ninth. For cross country, Veronica Gallegos took seventh. And Angel Cervantes took 12th at Mission Valley. At the Wamigo tournament, Veronica took 29th. And Angel took 35. They both ran with 100 other runners. At the Onega tournament, Angel took 10th and Veronica took 3rd. Thanks for watching the first ever Bears broadcast. Be sure to check us out on our school website and on Facebook. Our next broadcast will air next month. See you then. Until next time, you stay classy, class. Woo, woo, woo. You know it. Do it again. Schumann's shoes. Schumann's shoes. And socks. And socks. And lobster buffet. And lobster buffet. In New Hampshire. In New Hampshire. At the Boston Market. At the Boston Market. Unique New York. New Yeek. <laughs> <laughs>